Laser photoagulation for proliferative diabetic retinopathy. PRP, also known as pan retinal photocoagulation, is indicated because the various stages of neovascularization has an increased risk of loss of vision. Now, in case of mild neovascularization of the disc, there is 26% chance of visual loss, whereas 4% chances that this, patient, this patients might improve with treatment. In severe neovascularization of the disc, without hemorrhage, there is a chance of visual loss of 26%, whereas with treatment, this may improve to 9%. Whereas, those patients who have neovascularization with hemorrhage, 37% has a chance of visual loss. Whereas, this improves to 20% with treatment. Whereas, those patients who have neovascularization elsewhere with hemorrhage has 30% chance of visual loss and 7% of the patient, it reduces 7% with treatment. This is given by ETDRS. Now why laser? Laser induces involution of the new vessels, thus preventing visual loss. PRP indicated if there is vascular component involved. If the, if the new vessels have already been fibrosed, there is no indication for PRP. If this is associated with CSME, then the treatment of CSME should be undertaken first. Then along with anti-VGF if necessary. Now what are the effects of PRP? It might cause visual field defects, side effects of PRP, sorry, it causes visual field defects. It may cause night or color blindness or color vision problems. Now going to the laser setting, the spot size, it varies according to the lenses that is used. In Goldman lens, it is around 200 to 500 microns, whereas in pan fundoscopic lens, it is about 100 to 200 microns. The effect is related to the surface area that is burned, and duration is kept at 0.05 to 0.1 second. And power is a light intensity burn. Now the initial treatment should be 1000 to 500 to 2000 burns in the posterior fundus to cover the peripheral retina. Multiple settings are recommended to prevent pain and other complications associated with PRP. Pain is greatest in the periphery and the horizontal neurovascular bundles and least along the posterior. Now, how it starts? It starts in the inferior chondrite, then outside the arcade and we make a C-shaped in C-shaped in marking to mark the macula then we go to the superior quadrant then we go more nasally and then what we do is go more and more and more peripherally as in the designated manner.
now follow has to be done for 4 to 6 weeks signs of involution includes regression of the new vessels presence of ghost vessels decrease in venous changes absorption of retinal hemorrhages and presence of discal now increased fibrotic proliferation can be bad as there is increased chances of trd attraction of retinal detachment 